What's up YouTube? It's your boy Gerard with DBK Mobile back with another video. And if you're part of the family, welcome back. If not, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and join the family where I be dropping content live and unscripted. And by the thumbnail, no, I didn't trash the Ryobi 1800. The little backstory was today Friday. Yeah, today Friday. Monday night we had freezing temperatures. And um, I was lazy, got off late, didn't feel like unhooking my water supply and everything, blowing my lines out. So what happened was the next day, I had a job in the morning. And when I got to the job, my lines was frozen. Water inside, the pressure washer was frozen. Even my pump what I used, cause I, I wasn't gravity feeding at the time, it froze and me trying to rush things along, should have knew better, poured hot water down the lines, poured hot water in the pump, and was just trying to get going, man. Had a long day ahead of me that day. And needless to say, the pump failed on me. The pressure washer failed on me. So, <laughs> yeah, it was bad. But anyway, I needed a pressure washer right then. So I went and picked this one up, the Ryobi 2000, 1.2 gallons per minute. And I had been looking at this pressure washer, but now I finally had a reason to get it. I would have got the same one, but I was like, you know what, this was, well, the 1800, it's not on sale no more. It's like 129, and this one was 199. So I was like, man, I'm just gonna go ahead and get it or whatnot, because I wanted to see what it would do anyway. And while I was at the register paying for this one, well, after I paid for it, I seen that it had a three-year warranty on it. So I'll be taking the other one back up there to Home Depot. And I'll probably just use that as a, had it as a spare or something like that. But I had already unboxed this. I think this one been around, but this is like the new version, a new model of it. So like I said, I had already took it out the box because I needed it that day. And I've been using it every day since Tuesday, two to three times a day. So, so far, so good. But as always, I'm going to open the box anyway with y'all. Well, box already open, but I'm going to show y'all what's in it. This one right here comes with a handle in the back. I think the older version had like a stand and had the reel on it or whatnot. But we don't need none of that stuff. <clears throat> Let me move this out of the way. Since y'all already see what this look like, it's a little bit upright. It stand more upright. I mean, size different, it don't really take up no more space than the other one did. It's just a little bit taller, that's it. Still got the same, I think it's 25 foot cord. And of course it comes with the yellow nozzle. Let me sit this to the side. And it's the box it came in. And I was in a hurry, so I hadn't took none of this stuff out. We all finna see it together at the same time. And then I'm gonna throw the box away. It comes with the handle that goes in the back of it. Oh, it's retractable too. I probably won't be using this, but I keep it anyway. And the one that come with it, uh, if anybody got the 1800, let me know. If anybody got this pressure washer right here, let me know. Drop it in the comments and tell me what you think about it. Because so far, I've been liking it. I mean, 1800 to 2200, uh, what, PSI difference. I mean, it's not like a real big difference, but it does put out a little bit more water and it's good for rinse. But the 1800 came with a plastic one. And I did see this one came with a metal one. Pretty sure I have some use for this. I find something to use it for. Got the Ryobi plastic one. And we got instructions and some more little pieces. Let's see what this is. 
Oh, and it come with a turbo nozzle too. And it came with a blue soap nozzle, but I don't know what I did with that because I put my green nozzle in there because I use that one from time to time to clean out door jams and stuff like that. But this one came with a turbo nozzle. I want to see what this one looked like. Well, would it work like anyway? Because I already got one. Not sure what these little clips are for. Oh, probably for the wheels. Got some little silver clips. This stuff I think is for the wheels because I didn't put the wheels on there either. Got some little Carter pins. Yep. And the wheels. I probably won't put these on either because my pressure washer stay in the same place. I don't take it off the back of the truck. And old trusty hose. I don't need this. I probably won't use it, but it's always good to have spare stuff because you never know what you might need it for or what might happen and you might need to grab a hose real quick. So I would definitely keep this, put it on the trailer, and just have it as a spare. And this is the assembly. Got it in Spanish and English. Assembly packet. And a stay fresh pack. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I just want to tell y'all about that and talk a little bit about the winter, especially with the weather changing and everything. Um, Usually in the mornings, I usually, depending on what time I get started, I usually heat my water up. Well, I get hot water out the house in my wash buckets and my tire bucket. And it usually lasts me my first, maybe my first two. If I got, if I got three or four, uh, at least two. By the time I get to a third one or a fourth one, it's probably warmed up a little bit outside, but I use the hot water from the house to put in my wash bucket so I won't be sticking my hands in no cold water. And at night, I usually unhook all my water lines, especially here in North Carolina, in the Queen City, we be getting some cold, freezing cold temperatures. Lately, last couple of days, we've been down in like 28, 29 at night. And then in the morning when I get up, it's like, 30 something degrees, maybe 32, 33 or something like that. So I try to wait a little bit, kind of let it warm up a little bit, get close to 40. But let me know in the comments, what kind of temperature and weather y'all got where y'all at? And what are y'all doing to kind of combat that? Because a lot of times, a lot of people say it's slow down in the winter time. And yeah, I'ma say yes and no. It do and it don't. Cause at the same time, people still want their cars, their vehicles clean. Like, and honestly, by the grace of God, seem like I get a lot of new customers in the winter time because people don't want to get out there and do their own vehicles. So let me know what y'all think. Uh, is it slowing down for you? Or is it picking up or is it the same? Because either way, it still work out here. People still, like I said, people still want to get their vehicles clean and they want it done professionally. <clears throat> but I also got another surprise that I got for y'all. I'm gonna show you one second. So, for a while, I was a fan of the uh, PNS Carpet Bomber. Then I moved up to the three step and a lot of times I use just I go straight from step one to step three the terminator being step one carpet bomber step two and then the finisher for step three but lately I've been looking at some new product and based off of the reviews and what I've been seeing on the videos people been getting some good results for it so I'm gonna be doing a product review and a comparison on this right here 
This is Flex with Citrus Solve and Flex Ice. I'm going to be doing a comparison and a review. Comparison comparing these two to the PNS 3 step. So if you're not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that like button too. Because I don't want you to miss this. We're going we gonna to do... We, we gonna see if it do what it say it's supposed to do. And I can already tell you, two steps versus three steps, it's almost a no brainer, but we got to see how the product work first and see if it really, really get down for the get down with these dirty, well, I ain't gonna say dirty, but y'all know what I'm talking about. But anyway, stay tuned, like I said, man. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the like button. And as always, be blessed and be prosperous. And I'm out.